Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, you know, I did a video uh, recently about a hard drive that I was using for my old laptop. I was using it uh, as a, you know, as a portable hard drive with an Amazon uh, cable that I have uh, purchased. It's an USB cable, so I just have to connect it to my hard drive, and then uh, it's gonna work as an, uh, you know, a portable uh, hard drive because my computer doesn't have much space on it. So. Uh, but I, you know, I've realized that I do have a second slot that I can install that hard drive, you know, instead of using it as a portable hard drive, I can definitely install it inside my laptop on the second slot that I have. And that way it's hustle free, you know, I can go anywhere and the hard drive will always be there. I'm not going to, you know, forget it or I'm not going to forget the cable. And also that way I don't damage my hard drive because I did, I, I don't want to buy another, uh, you know, cover for that. So. Let me show you this. This is the hard drive. I don't know if you remember 750 gigabyte from my old laptop. And yeah, today we're I'm going to show you how to install it inside the laptop. Uh, for that, I needed something that's you know really important. It's that uh, it's this cable here that I have ordered through uh, Acer, and you know they also sent me a mounting bracket here. So at first they're supposed to charge me like a thirty dollars Canadian, and then they said that they don't have the screws. So since they don't have the screws, they're just gonna you know give me the mounting bracket and uh, the connector uh, for free. So yeah, let's begin. I do have my laptop here. It's an Acer uh, Aspire. You know, pardon my pronunciation again. So it's an Acer Aspire Five. Uh, the model is. A515 and 52 so I was you know I was looking online on YouTube how to do that I could not find it for this specific model so you know what I have decided to make my own video so this could be useful for other people that have same uh, model for me I think this installation you know uh, tutorial could also work for a 515 uh, 54 series as well but again I'll try and if it works uh, for me, you know, you can definitely give it a try as well. And meanwhile, I'm gonna, you know, unscrew it, you know, install everything. And you can see if your if your laptop once you open the cover, if it looks like mine, you can, you know, follow this uh, instruction uh, tutorial as well. Again, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I'm just doing it on my own just to help everyone. And also, uh, please read your user manual. So I'm not a professional. I'm just doing it on my own, you know, just to have an extra storage option on my laptop so yeah let's begin so our uh, first thing we'll have to unscrew this So yeah, you see here, uh, that's where we have to fit the hard drive. It's this thing here, so I don't know if I can use my old. Uh, no, I'll have to disconnect it. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So this goes here. We have to disconnect the battery first. That's the that's the most important thing. So let's do this. All right. So first thing I'm doing here, I'm uh, disconnecting the cable that. Uh, brings basically the power the battery that is connected to the motherboard here so I'm removing that so there is you know I don't get it you know I'm gonna remove the that from there okay this should be all removed Okay, I have disconnected the cable here. It's not removed completely, but it is disconnected, so we're safe here. And then uh, I will have to connect uh, the mounting bracket to my uh, 
HDD here. So let me do this. Okay, so I've connected the mounting, um, as you see here, the mounting bracket here uh, to my HDD. So this is gonna protect here. There is a, it's a plastic cover. So this will go here. Now there are there are small screws that did did not come as I said earlier they couldn't uh, provide me so I'll have to look for them somewhere uh, you know if I have a backup uh, screws or not so this goes here and then we have to connect like the cable this side here and then uh, the cable over there so let me do this now so now let's uh, put the FCC connector um, the the cable uh, here. To the hard drive, uh, there's only one way that it's gonna fit in. So, I don't know if you guys can see it clearly or not, but this should be it. Yeah, so there's only one way that it's gonna fit in. So, you just have to put that in. So now that I have connected the, the mounting bracket to my hard drive, and also the cable is connected on this side, we'll just put it here. And this side has to connect to the motherboard. So, we can just put this back here. Now, if I look clearly, mine here it says HDD1, so that should be the one that I have to connect this cable. Uh, you know, this end over here, and this wide part. If you pull it a little bit, you know, slowly, it does go up. You know, it comes up, and then you can put this cable very easily. Okay, so the cable is connected, HDD is connected, we just have to put this, connect back this cable that we have disconnected earlier for the battery. I'm being extra careful here. Oh yeah, this is connected as well. And one thing that is left here, I have to screw, you know, I have to put some screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. I do not have them now, uh, Acer did not have them either, so that, that's the reason basically why they gave me the mountain bracket and the cable for free, so. Yeah, so, you know, I'll, I'll try to find this and then connect it, but for now, I'll put back everything. This should be, you know, staying in its place, should not move once the back cover is uh, installed. So, yeah, that's basically it. And hopefully this was useful for you guys. And if it did, please uh, drop a like, uh, share, subscribe, and, you know, uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.